So in this video, I am going to show you how to load your print job if you are using the Affinia 3D printers. Both of the Affinias are located in the lab, uh, and we are going to use the Affinia Studio software. There should be a desktop icon on both of those kiosk computers. If you happen to get this, please let Ms. Marshall or Mr. Brown know. There is a workaround that we are able to do, but we have to set it up for you, and then it should be good to go from there on out. When Affinia Studio loads, it should look like this, and it will have a couple of screens that it cycles through just like its normal ads. When you see this, we're going to go ahead and start by clicking over here to the side where it says Build. Now, just like any of our other 3D printers, we need to go ahead and add our files, and just like our other 3D printers, there is a plus button that we can use to add our files. Now, you'll notice as I hover over things, it's telling me, hey, click on this to add a 3D model. So this is where I go ahead, I load my flash drive, I find my STL, and I open it. In our other 3D printers, the scaling was off on them as well. So our MakerBot, it was super small, and it's also super small in our Affinia. In fact, it's about one and a half by two millimeters, so it is super, super tiny. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to use my tool wheel up here in the corner to scale it. Now all of our 3D printers have something where there is a small icon and a large icon, that is our scale tool. When I click on scale, you'll notice right here that it is locked, so I do want our proportions locked always. And I've got a couple of options on how I can scale this. If I know the exact size, I can type it in here. So it's super, super helpful if I know that, hey, I need this to be 15 millimeters, I can type 15 and hit enter. And then I will have automatically scaled all of the proportions Whoop. scaled all of the proportions so that it is in fact 15 millimeters. I can also click and drag in order to scale it up or down. That is a little less accurate. I could also multiply it by a scale factor or divide it by a scale factor. So let's say that I needed it to be uh, you know, half of what it currently is, I can multiply it by 0.5 and that will cut it in half, or I can multiply it by 10 and that will make it larger. So whichever way works for us. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and type 15 down in the X and hit enter so that we have 15, 20, and 19.499 for our dimensions. Now with this right now, my peg is kind of laying on its side, so I do need to rotate it. That way the bottom is facing down. So I have my rotate tool, and again, as I hover over, it says rotate. I'll select the axis I want to rotate on and how many degrees I'd like to rotate it. You can also click over here to select a different axis if you don't know which one's the X, the Y, and the Z. Uh, and you can continue to rotate it a number of degrees or back a number of degrees. We do need two copies, so when we are ready, we're going to just go ahead and select it. So clicking on our model, and we are going to copy and make one copy. So now we have the original plus one. So we've got two in total. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and auto place so that they are configured in a way that is going to be the most efficient for the printer. And once I've auto placed, I am now good to go ahead and click print. Over here is my print button. So I'm gonna click print. And one thing I can do is I can preview it. And when I preview it, it slices it and tells me about how long it's going to take. So this particular print job is gonna take roughly 25 minutes. Um, on the Affinia, it tends to give the lowest estimates of all of the printers, and it will probably take about 25 to 30 minutes when it's all said and done. So from here, I would then go back to the print menu so I can exit preview. And then I can go ahead and click print uh, from the print menu. Right now I am just on my computer rather than on the actual kiosk computer in the lab, so the printer is not currently connected, but normally this button would be enabled and I would be able to click print and then it will automatically send the print job. There will be one more video part for showing how to remove the print jobs when they're done, but y'all that is the basics of how we load and set up our print job in Affinia.